Okay. Actually, Lunatic Lucas episode. Episode gets free from eBay. Take one, action. You've seen the title. You think it's a clickbait, I get it. But listen to me, it's not, all right? I'm about to spill the beans. I am about to blow the whistle, so to speak. Wait, what? There is a way how to get almost anything off of eBay for free. I've run the numbers for you guys. Right now we're talking about 75% guaranteed. There's this kind of loophole that affects dropshippers that do uh, you know, good old Amazon to eBay type dropshipping. And as outdated you may think that is, first of all, it still makes money. Second of all, there's still millions of people doing it. Okay, maybe not millions. There's still thousands of people doing it. It's still profitable. It still brings a couple hundred to maybe a few thousand dollars per month in profit to people who still do Amazon to eBay. That's the fact and I'm I know this firsthand, actually, all right? Because I have still accounts that do Amazon to eBay. <laughs> you serious? I'm pretty open about this. It's not, there's nothing I'm proud of, to, to, to be honest. Um, but it does pay pretty much, it pays a lot of overhead. So this is where it all starts. To get free stuff off of eBay, all you need to do is find somebody like me who still drop ships Amazon Prime items to eBay. If you order an Amazon item that's being drop shipped on eBay from that eBay seller, there's now a 75% chance that you can get a refund right after you receive it by simply opening an item not received case and sitting back. Most importantly, you can do this without looking suspicious as eBay will by default blame the seller for not being able to come up with a sufficient proof of delivery. And why, you might ask? Well, there are really just two reasons. First, Amazon is increasingly using Amazon Logistics to deliver their Prime packages. And when they do, they provide Amazon tracking numbers that are not recognized on eBay. Meaning the dropshipper who's dropshipping Amazon items to eBay doesn't have any tracking number to upload to that order. And the second reason this loophole is out there is because the workaround that was provided by TrackerBot, which essentially converted Amazon tracking numbers to Bluecare Express tracking numbers, well, that by itself is no longer Bluecare Express is no longer considered as a sufficient proof of delivery, meaning eBay will always side with the buyer on item not received cases that involve Bluecare Express tracking. To put it simply, any Amazon item that is being drop shipped on eBay and then gets shipped with Amazon Logistics can be claimed as not received and the buyer will always win. And so eBay is flooded with people doing Amazon to eBay. It was hugely profitable to do in 2015 and 2016. And then eBay decided to kind of kick off dropshippers from marketplaces off of their marketplace. Everybody got flagged and some people got suspended. Uh, it turned not really profitable for a lot of people, especially in the United States. But the latecomers and the people that learn dropshipping nowadays from old, face from old YouTube videos are still practicing Amazon to eBay. The problem is that Amazon Logistics has grown significantly over the last couple of years and at this point at this very moment amazon handles about 75 percent of all prime deliveries the ratio was a lot different a couple of years ago back when amazon logistics started or even the first couple of years they were handling only about 20 percent of all amazon prime orders and ever since amazon logistics crossed 50 percent this when the floodgates were open to bad actors and scammers and anybody else who can do this. Say I want to buy an item X on Amazon. There is a huge chance that this exact same item is being drop shipped on eBay at a higher price. You just copy the title from Amazon, paste it on eBay, and most likely you're gonna get some drop shipper just copying the listing, putting it on eBay, hoping you'll buy it for a slightly higher price. When you find a match, Knowing what we know, there is now a 75% chance you can order it from eBay and get a refund right after you receive your item. As there is 70 plus percent chance that eBay seller won't be able to come up with a delivery proof for your order. If this doesn't work the first time, there is now even a higher chance that it'll work the second time around and so on and so on. 
Now, who has to suck it all up? It is the eBay dropshipper who try to sell you an Amazon item at a higher price. Now, now, don't get me wrong, you're still a scammer if you try to exploit this loophole. But the, the, the problem here is that you're putting the blame on the seller. eBay has no reason to ban you or to suspect that you're doing anything wrong because you're just trying to buy something on their platform. There is a high likelihood that you can do this repeatedly without running into any issues with eBay because you essentially open a case and then it's the buyer's responsibility to provide a valid tracking number and they won't be able to do so. Now you might be wondering, is there a proof to this or am I just pulling your leg? Well, let's have a look. So we're currently inside of my Amazon account and I'm just gonna pull up the stats for 2020. My personal account has been used this year to order 1,798 items from Amazon. That's about five a day. And so what I've done is I looked up the last 50 orders that I ordered with Amazon Prime and here are the numbers. Here you have the 50 orders that I tracked. These are the order numbers. I'm obviously not gonna reveal the entire order number for each of these orders. And then ship them Amazon, no and yes. So obviously every order that got shipped with Amazon is supporting my theory this loophole that is inside of this e-commerce space still at this time. And every time it didn't get shipped by, by Amazon, I marked it as no. Um, here I had three orders that got shipped with LaserShip, and I'm not sure if eBay recognizes LaserShip. If they do, then I should change it to no. If they don't, then I should keep it to yes. And then broken down, so totally we have 50 orders, non-Amazon orders, non-Amazon carriers, were 13 orders, which amounts to 26%. And Amazon, sh or shipped by Amazon Logistics, were a grand total of 37 orders, which is a 74% success rate. 74% in theoretical scamming success rate. And if you've ever played roulette, you know you can just increase your stakes every time this doesn't work and you know double the order item value and then just get more profit once eventually the item is shipped by Amazon. And I was thinking, should I do this for the video? Should I just demonstrate that this works? And I decided not to do it. Um, I don't wanna scam anyone. I don't wanna message them that I was just scamming them. I didn't wanna be that guy. Think about this. A couple of years ago, there was 20% chance that this would work on a regular basis. Like th there was 20% chance of something working. Like you cannot really put it into practice. But once Amazon Logistics started handling over 50% of Amazon's FBA packages, that's when scammers were likely to succeed. And now it's at 70 to 75%, which is absolutely mind blowing because it literally puts these scammers into the position of not taking any blame and putting the blame on, on, on the sellers and the dropshippers that still operate Amazon to eBay on eBay. Makes sense. But don't do this, you know, you, you would hurt people like me, other, peop other dropshippers, or actually you wouldn't. You know, if, if this happened to me, I would still go to Amazon and I would still say that I did not receive the item even though there is a delivery proof from Amazon. And Amazon would still end up refunding me because in their eyes I'm a valuable customer, so probably Amazon would end up taking the loss in the end. But why I'm making this video about this is because if you're the scammer, the blame is not put on you, it, you're putting it on the seller and you're kind of dodging the responsibility of uh, being a decent human being. And that's where I find this interesting, that's why I wanted to talk about this. That's why I make this video. And if you're interested in dropshipping, do go into the link in the description and join my Dropshipping Internationals Facebook group. Uh, we have about 400 members right now. Obviously, I plan to grow more, but at this rate, you get the most quality advice at zero cost to you. Because I always make sure if, if whatever, whoever's question is in there doesn't get answers, I make sure to answer it myself. So if you have any questions about dropshipping, could be Amazon, could be eBay, could be Shopify, could be TikTok ads, could be Facebook ads, be sure to join my group in the description and don't scam people.
Now, obviously, this late into the video, you should have already uh, smashed the like button. You should be already subscribed. If you're not, I give you two seconds to make it happen. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.